I'm going to show you how to assemble a lumber store kit from Mount Albert Scale Lumber. All the laser cut parts in this kit have been designed that they can only be assembled one way only, which would make putting these together uh, quite simple. Uh, included with your lumber store is a nice exploded drawing like this. It will give you all the details on how, to, uh, on how one of these goes together. There isn't much required. A uh, little bit of wood glue. Uh, these little glue bottles that we sell are pretty handy. You can fill them up with your favorite wood glue and it dispenses a nice small bead of glue. A uh, wet cloth and a few rubber bands to hold things together while the glue sets up. We've pre-assembled the base with the, the rotating mechanism in the bottom. Uh, this allowed us to get it together nice and precise for you. Uh, it makes uh, the job of putting one of these together even simpler. This should only take about 10-15 minutes to get one put together. So we'll go through that now. The first step is to put together the main column which consists of these four tall pieces. Uh, as I mentioned earlier they can only be put together one way so that should make it fairly simple. If you look at the parts you'll see that there's one part that has three tabs on the top and there's another one that has two tabs on the top. These two go together like so and then another three tab here and the two tab here. We're just going to run a bead of glue along all these tabs on all four parts here, here, here and here on every one. I'm not going to put any glue up on these tabs, not yet, that's to glue it in place into the base later or any on the bottom. We just want them on here and then we're going to assemble them like this. One, two, three, four and we'll put a couple of rubber bands around it to hold everything in place. Okay with all the glue in place we're just going to uh, assemble these together. This can be a little bit fiddly. So we're putting, again, the one with three tabs is going to be glued to the one with two tabs. So we just set them together like so. Kind of got this backwards here. This one here. And while holding those in place, we drop the fourth one in place like so. Now we take this and we're going to use the base to hold everything together while the glue cures. So we're going to drop the column into the base. Again, we're going to look for the slot that has three holes in a row. 90 degrees to that will be one that has two holes in a row. It looks like there's three because there's a third one here, but that's for another piece. It's actually these two are going to be going into those two. And we'll just drop this in and kind of work it around till it falls into the hole like that. Now that's going to hold that nice and square while the glue sets up. In the meantime, we'll just put some rubber bands around the column to hold everything solid while the glue dries. That's about all it takes. You can see a little bit of glue has oozed out. I'm just going to take a wet cloth and, and clean that up. And we'll just let that sit for 10-15 minutes till it sets up a little bit. Okay, this is set up good enough. It's been a few minutes. I'm just going to pop this out and take the rubber bands off. This material uh, has a, a nice white painted finish on it. Um, it looks great, but the downside is it doesn't glue very well to other materials. So when we're applying glue we want to make sure we're going to get the glue on the wood side and in here where it's been cut out is also wood so we get a, a reasonably good bond that way. You don't want to rely just on gluing the front surface. So we're just going to get a little bit of glue down inside here like so on all these tabs. And then we want to put a little bead of glue along the bottom here. That should be a good enough bond for our purposes. Don't worry about getting a little bit splashed here and there. It wipes up pretty easily with the wet cloth. And then we're going to drop this in place like so. And clean up any excess that might be sticking out. Next up is we're going to drop these four support posts in place. So they go around the column into these slots here. These don't uh, really do much but just hold the top piece in place so it's good enough of a glue bond to glue these to the white 
surface. But as before, it's good to get it on the tab and on the base. And you just drop it in like that and lean it forward. Don't worry about pressing it in place yet. When we put the next piece on, it'll line everything up. So we're going to glue all four of these on. Next up is the bottom of the uh, first shelf. Um, glue this with the brown side up because we're going to be gluing this onto it and you get a much better bond if you can get this brown surface glued to the brown surface. It also creates a nice contrast like in the bottom here. And this is just going to slide down the column and sit on top of these posts. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on the top of these posts all the way around and then slide this down into place. Now this is going to slide down. We just put it over the top of the column. Down it goes. And you have to kind of work these into the slots. Like that, and then two there, and then you see it drop down in place onto that glue that we just put on. A little bit of pressure. Uh, a good quality wood glue will set up very quickly, in a few seconds, with a little bit of pressure on it. And then come to full cure in an hour or two. I'm just going to clean up a little bit of glue that's oozed out along here. Once all the uh, tubes are in place, you can't see a lot of this anyways. Um, it's nice to get it as clean as possible, but you don't have to be too, too fussy about it because you can't see it. Okay, that's good. So now we're going to glue the top of the first shelf and in place. Sorry, this is the wrong part. This is the first shelf. I should read my own instructions. Uh, same thing, this just slides down over top and gets glued onto here. So we're going to put a little bit of glue in here all the way out to about this edge. We don't want any glue out here because this lower ring sits right in there. So I'll do that now. You don't want to get too much on there because it'll ooze out into the pockets. And then a little bit around the outside. And that's all it takes. This isn't uh, holding up much. This is just keep everything in place. It doesn't matter where, how you align it because they're the same on all four sides. Same. We just slide it down here. And it goes onto those pegs like so. And I see a little wee bit of glue in one of these pockets. I'll clean that up. There. Okay. We're almost finished. This goes very quickly. Next is the top piece. That sits on here. And again, you got to look for the three tabs. It goes on the column with three tabs and the two tabs go here. And we're just going to get a little bit of glue down on the bottom here and on the inside of the tabs. Okay, now we're going to drop this in place like so. Okay, a little bit of pressure gets the glue started. And then there's just a little cap that sits on top. Just a little bit of glue on here. You don't have to be too fussy about this. It doesn't do anything, just sits there and looks nice. Okay, and clean up with any residue that we might have. And there we have it. It's done. It's ready to put our uh, tubes into and load it up with our lumber or whatever else you want to store in here.